Okay, so, hi, hello, welcome back to another Reading Bad Two Sentence Horror Stories. I think this is episode number five. Um, like, at the time of recording this, the videos haven't really been doing well outside the first one, which is alright. Uh, this will probably be the last one I'm going to record. Um, and then I'm probably just going to go back to my usual stuff after this, though. So, you know, hopefully you all enjoy this video. So, let's get into it. So... How I, I used to do two sentence horror stories of my own, um, as ChatGBT to write them, and usually they'll have a list from like 1 to 30, but this one I'm just going to go until I get tired of reading them or they're just horrible. So, let's get into it. I watched as my best friend was murderous, murder murderously killed. The pain in my heart was beyond er everything I could have imagined. Okay. Murder Isley. M U R D R O U S L Y. There we go. I am not stupid. I read it how it was. This isn't going to be a good day, I murmured as I stared at the bed. Among the blood matted sheets lay my girlfriend's head. Okay. <laughs> Mary had a little lamb. Its heart was black as coal. It crept into her room one night and took her fucking soul. Okay. The surgeon felt a stirring in his groin and allowed himself to fully indulge a moment of honest pride. After all, no other surgeon would have, in, would have the abdominal will and unmatchable talent necessary to successfully replace their own penis with a still living snake. What? Okay, moving on. Will I ever be real? Pinocchio wondered. Allowed as he lay staring at the bedroom ceiling. You're real to me, the woman replied, as she unbuckled her pants and lubricated his nose. Hey. You know, Pinocchio's getting some play. More power to him. Moving on. I want a burger, the boy said. I will eat you too much hard, the monaster said. Okay. I guess I can assume this guy's first language is not English, or he just had a hard time ty typing. So what it actually is, is, I want a burger, the boy said. I will eat you too, much hard, the monster said. I don't know where the fuck he was going with that, but moving on. My husband embraced me from behind. I tried not to scream as another pair of hands embraced me. And another, and another, and another. Okay, moving on. My wife finished her nightly ball kicking session against me and then stabbed my hand again. I hate my wife. Okay. <laughs> Mo moving on. My father always kicked my mother in the stomach while she was pregnant. Now I kick him in the balls. No, I, no now I kick him in his balls. Okay. Moving on. My eye feels overly itchy for some reason. Oh god, a worm is eating my eye. Golden. Moving on. It was sad to hear that my grandfather died. What was truly gut wrenching was finding out years later about him, about what he did to my aunt. Okay, I feel like this one is more kind of truthful, I guess. I mean, it is a horror story in itself, but I don't think it should be in two sentence horror, but uh, it is what it is. Moving on. I forgot my son's birthday. After seeing him in the toilet with my girlfriend bleeding out, I could hardly get out of bed to take care of myself, let alone check the calendar. Huh. Okay. Moving on. Snap, 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 he heard, as he stared at the bubble wrap. Ignoring the screams in between as Jeff continued to break his friend Choppy's bones. Okay, I feel like this one could be pretty good. Uh, if he... If, okay, if this, if this guy expands upon this, I feel, like, I feel like it will personally be amazing. But, it is what it is. Moving on. What a noob, I said in my heart to... I said in my heart to think that wear my wife's face sloppily. But I know better than points it up to a thing that can rip off face like that. Okay, moving on. 
So this one is kind of like, um, okay, well, I'm moving on. I saw, I saw Mommy kissing Santa Claus by the Christmas tree. Wait, since when does Santa have hooves? When does he? I'm so sorry for the little burp right there. Moving on. My family had gone inside the attic to get the potatoes. I don't know why, but it's been around an hour since they have been there. Have been in there. Okay. Um, moving on. I hugged my sister at the airport, ready to say goodbye. 9-11. Don't get me wrong, it's... Simple and clean. I, I can say that for sure. Moving on. Scientists found a string of letters that caused anyone who reads them to die within two minutes. They just saw how but he did this one. No one for so Bob would give fuck a Kerberos shit, yeah. Oh fuck, I'm gonna die. Moving on. Nobody was worried when the murder clown invasion began at the beach. It's just one boat, they claimed. How bad could it be? I, okay, like the other one I mentioned, this could be something amazing. This guy has a perfect foundation for something fucking awesome. And I hope he capitalized upon it. I would love to read a story about kind of like the beaches of Normandy, but the clowns invaded instead. Or something like that. I know, it'd be kind of cool. Okay, moving on. The death row inmate there for, brutal for brutally murdering 100 people had only found out why he had been arrested in his final moments. His last words were, wait, I only murdered 40 people. Who counts after 5 anyways? Okay. Alright, moving on. My mom kicked me out of the house for tickling my little brother's feet. I knew I should have waited until he was born. Oh. <laughs> oh, okay. Moving on. I played a prank on my blind girlfriend and told her to read the new book I got her. I watched in joy as her fingers were violently sliced by the cheese grater. Uh, damn, that's fucked. Okay, uh, moving on. Tinder is completely useless, and I don't have a single match. If I don't find another way to start a campfire tonight, I'll freeze to death. Okay, uh, moving on. I was furious when I realized the magician came inside me. Then he announced, and for my next trick, I'll be swapping my semen for acid. Okay. <laughs> Moving on. I wanted to impress my boyfriend my first time I'd given him head, so I practiced my technique at, the ho at home with a cucumber. It was going well until I felt some sort of ejaculate into my mouth. Pickle Rick strikes again. Moving on. AI. The AI generated material was so realistic that no one could tell it was fake. Until one day, the material started generating, in his, generating its own stories. And they were all about taking over the world. I mean, yes and no. Uh, I did mention how I used to use ChatGPT for two sentence horror stories. And it's not going to take over the world anytime soon. Maybe in like 10 years it could, but right now, fuck no. So, moving on. Thank God if we cured cancer, right David? I menacingly smiled as I just tricked my colleague into creating super cancer, which makes people float. Damn you super cancer. <laughs> Moving on. I'm a real boy, exclaimed Pinocchio, happily. It was only when the first shreds of flesh hit the ground with a dull, wet sound that crowd realized with horror what had happened to the village's missing children. Yet again, good premise, good premise that they have, just don't make it a two sentence horror story, make it more. That's a good thing. These guys, the, everyone that I talked about that actually had good ones, they should expand upon that, because it'll probably be really fucking good. So, moving on. Correcting kill the cat, said a stranger standing next to the man. No, that was curious, a lot of bang of flash. A loud bang and flash of light silenced him quickly. Okay. I understand what he was going for. But he could have done it better. So, moving on. 
As I flushed the toilet and the water exonerably rose, my final moments were spent regretting joining the wolf pack. Exonerably rose. There we go. Also, that, that one just sucked. Moving on. Your post and content has been removed. I tried to grab the intestines falling out of my abdomen as I realized Reddit not only removed my post but also the contents of my body. Okay, moving on. Something came in the mail today. Uncle Terry's nuts. Alright, moving on. In 1999, and I finally got the job of my dreams and I get paid when the project is finished. My bills are due soon. I hope it doesn't take too long for One Piece to finish. Okay, moving, moving on. You really know how to please a girl like me. You're making me wet. But I'm not a cab, so don't call me. She said, letting go of the barbed wire noose around her victim. I don't, I don't get it. I'm not a cat, so don't call me. Equals cat calling. You're making me wet. Equals blood. It's not that difficult to understand, but my apologies if I wrote it confusing. I didn't get it either. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I didn't get it either too, honestly. <laughs> so, moving on. Ah, fuck! My leg, I said, holding, holding the open wound as blood. That's when I regret teaching my dog English. As he ran over to me with a look on his face that he said would gladly oblige. Oh. <laughs> okay. That one's kind of good, but don't make a story out of that one. Moving on. As I... F oh, okay. I read that one. November 22nd. Yuji want tribe have good winter full bellies. Elder till... Elder tell Ugg try eat mushrooms so Ugg eat big handful. Is this like like caveman fucking humor? I don't I don't know. Moving on. Alright, moving on. Can't wait for him to fuck me. That's when he goes down to his dark basement with food. Oh okay. That's going to be on the internet forever now. It's cool how our lips are covered by the same skin as our anuses. That being said, when I licked my lips, I felt a little tickle in my ass. I love how that's going to be on the internet forever too. Moving on. Genie, I wish my parents were dead. I told the genie just before he was sucked back into the bottle. I went downstairs and they were still there. Alive and well. I'm not too sure. So, moving on. I was going to 7-Eleven. Then, I got slurped. Okay, moving on. I heard a scream down the street and ran down to help the person. But I looked at why the girl had screamed and saw a god in front of me tell me I was going to be in heaven for trying to save an innocent person. Okay, moving on. I'm reminded of the first time I ever held my child, how beautiful she looked and tasted. What the fuck? Moving on. What's the problem? The doctor asked me. Vomit comes out of my penis, I said. Okay, moving on. I assumed the cute guy I hooked up with at the party was joking when he told me he was an alien. But the joke was on me because a pregnancy let alone one that lasted 19 months so far it's not something I respected to have to deal with as a gay man. What the fuck? Okay, uh, moving on. After days of constipation, I was finally able to take a shit. My relief turned to horror when millions of legs spawned from the mass in the toilet and tried to crawl back up to, m and and it tried to crawl back up into my anus. Okay, moving on. I read the message on her T-shirt. My eyes are up here. They weren't. Moving on. He was the perfect boyfriend. Nice, charming, everything. That was until I saw Andrew Tate was on his following list. Fun fact about this, my friend, I'm not going to name her, 
but she was actually going out on a date with this one guy. And he actually unironically had Andrew Tate playing in the car when she got in. And she did not get into the car. And that date did not happen. So, boys out there, do not listen to Andrew Tate. Do not listen to whatever the fuck he is saying. It's going to give you a skewed, a skewed vision upon reality. And, you know, it's just not going to be good. Since, you know, you're going to be young and impressionable. Having a man ask a person what, what color is your Bugatti is not a good way to live life. So, learn from those around you. And just be a good person. Okay? Sometimes, it's just better to be a good person than try to be an asshole who say, Hey, what color is your Bugatti? So, that's a little tidbit. Let's move on. The sacrifice has failed. He will cleanse us soon. Okay, moving on. Is there a way to be bisexual without being in the LGBTQ community? I really don't want to be a part of it. Is that a two sentence horror story? I'm not too sure, but I'm not going to talk about it even more, so anymore, so let's move on. I masturbate to pictures of Ben Shapiro almost every day just because I know he will hate the idea of a male wanking to him. It's actually really difficult because I don't find him sexually attractive in any way, and especially just as headshots, but I have done it every day for about two years. Because I found it funny at first, but now I'm so used to it that it makes me feel incomplete if I don't do it every day. Okay. That is some weird fucking thing to do. I guess it could be a way of going against the man, but hey, you do you, bud. Moving on. I experienced sleep paralysis today for the first time in my life. Then I woke up and found my uncle laying next to me. Okay, moving on. I bought a used diary of what we could do it yourself book. Inside, there was a 10 page long detailed confession of how this person killed their whole family. Okay, I'm not going to necessarily lie. I do believe that that could be leading up to something. I think that would be a good story, but I don't know. Moving on. My wife is 44 weeks pregnant and the baby stopped kicking. I'm relieved that he's finally figured out he needs to bite instead. Okay, <laughs> moving on. I fall asleep watching my boyfriend's YouTube videos. His 500 views and I'll kill myself video is particularly my favorite. Damn, that, that one kind of hits close to um, my channel. So, damn, Mo <laughs> moving on. Some cunt at work keeps stealing my lunch. So I put some very, very spicy sauce in there. But after I arrived at work and looked inside, I realized I had given my kid the wrong lunchbox. <laughs> oh god, poor Jimmy's gonna be shitting his brains out. Okay, well, moving on. I woke up completely naked in a small bare room with what felt like sandpaper covering the floor. Imagine my horror when that sandpaper started to move. Okay, um, uh, moving on. I had this messed up dream about a tiny but morbidly obese cowboy named Regina, and he had, and he had put a saddle on my nose and was riding it like a horse. When I woke up, my nose hurt, so I checked the mirror, but my my nose had collapsed on itself. Okay. People people said 150 pounds is normal weight for someone. What they didn't know that was that I'm only one year old. Okay. Alright, moving on. No, I don't want diarrhea. I cried as the devil cursed me with internal diarrhea. The floor began to deepen as levels of diarrhea consumed everything. Okay, moving on. I just bought new boots to stomp my dog. Okay, moving on. My friend made me drink pumpkin spice from Starbucks. 
I feel a leaf in my stomach. Uh, I, got, got, I love the good old uh, body horror stuff. I raised the plasma rifle to her head, closing my eyes as I pulled the trigger. I couldn't let her. I couldn't let her become human. Okay, I mean, yeah, kinda. Moving on. Police dogs can't smell bombs. They hardly notice I'm strapping one to the backs. <laughs> All right, uh, moving on. I ate my wife to prove her a liar. As the agonizing screams came from within my stomach, I came to realize that she was indeed immortal. Gotta love war, I guess. So, moving on. I said hi to the cashier. They have blood from their eyes. Okay, uh, moving on. You're so beautiful, I told my wife as I kissed her. Thanks. <laughs> she responded happily. Okay, moving moving on. It's a boy, the doctor declared, holding the head of a newborn baby. I'm really sorry, the husband said, but I'm not ready. And proceeded to kick the poor baby in each foot until he was reduced to a puddle of brown. Okay, <laughs> moving on. Waking, waking to the sound of someone breaking into my home, I reach for my gun. I cannot let them find what's in the basement. Okay, moving on. I wasn't crazy. I knew he had swapped those numbers. I knew it. It was 1216, one after the Magna Carta. As if I could ever make such a mistake. You think this is bad? The, sh the chicanery? He defected through a sunroof, and I s he defecated through a sunroof, and I saved him. Are you having a schizophrenic episode, man? The fuck? Those are two different branching storylines. Okay, moving on. I saw him. He was there, but he wasn't. Okay, I'll do uh, a few more. I'll do like three more. If my best friend was a girl, I married him instantly. He's the most beautiful person I know, and he's more attractive than all the girls, but, like, that's gay, and I'm straight. Okay. Alright, uh, you got some conflicting emotions, pal. Um, hey, it's 2023. Date who you want to date. If your homie's into it, you know, spark up relationship, I guess. I, I don't know. <laughs> Moving on. How do how do you like your eggs? Deviled, said the evil man. Damn. Uh got me there. Okay, this will be the last one of the video. I love smelling the flowers. I love smelling humans. Okay, so that's gonna be it for the video. Um hopefully you all enjoy uh this video. Um yeah, again, I do have a lot of fun reading uh, the bad two sentence horror stories, but you know, the videos just haven't been doing pretty well on YouTube, so I'm just gonna say F it and just, you know, stop it for now. Um, if, if, you know, this one does well, um, I'll come back to make more. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, you know, I don't really like asking for this though, but if you enjoyed the video, please consider leaving a like and subscribing. Uh, my channel is full of all horror types of stuff, from creepypastas to r slash no sweep in the beginning, get all that stuff. You know, check out those videos, it really helped me out. Um, you know, I enjoy making these type of videos, and, you know, I just want to make stuff that people will watch. So, you know, I'll probably just keep making more. Okay, so I don't want to keep you guys here any longer. Um, links are down below. Uh, remember, use code goons over at gamersubs.gg if you want to get 10% off anything. Um... The goon, code goons will get you 10% off anything at checkout. So, you know, it's a pretty good deal. And, uh, yeah. So, I don't have anything else to say. I will say thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Bye, everyone.